Well, I'll tell you what I think. Tea Party. America thanks you for pushing our government to the edge of economic collapse. The Tea Party in Congress is so crazy that every time one of these new representatives or senators think they've made a valid point, I swear I hear this. I'm not a terrorist. As we enter the second dip of our great recession, America thanks you, the Tea Party, for having the passion and interpersonal skills of a 13-year-old Dungeons & Dragons fanatic, for slapping your star-spangled balls upside the head of Uncle Sam. Kentucky's Rand Paul on the BP oil spill. Accidents happen. Former Delaware Senate candidate Christine O'Donnell, you can't masturbate without lust. Arizona Representative Trent Franks called President Obama an enemy of humanity. He also said recently that the Bush tax cuts brought in an additional $100 billion a year. Mr. Franks, you might want to recheck those figures. Uh, Tea Party candidate Glenn Urquhart said, Next time your liberal friends talk about separation of church and state, ask them why they are Nazis. Stop, President Obama. All right, you want to know how crazy the Tea Party faction of Congress is? Let me put it this way. If you read the transmissions from Planet T High and replace Amend the Constitution with Bomb the Moon, they make just as much sense. President Obama, we're not terrorists. Compromise is just dirty Euro slang for surrender. I'm not a terrorist. How crazy is the Tea Party Congress? Crazy enough to risk financial default. Crazy enough to think that it might be beneficial. Crazy enough to shut down the FAA to kick the unions. Crazy enough to tear down our system of governance to force their narrow view on the whole of America. No holds barred, no prisoners taken, no hostages released. That isn't governance, it's crazy. <laughs> has a lot of explaining to do as to why he spends his time doing something like this rather than time, rather than uh, creating jobs. It's not time to make the donuts, it's time to make the jobs. It should be a shame that I have to go out and buy things for my daughter's classroom and oh, shortage gosh. of funds. Thanks for coming. Thank you, Tea Party, for defending the job creators so they're free to slash jobs, maximize profits, and widen the income gap without tax burdens, ensuring that middle-class crybabies won't be sullying their ranks anytime soon. I don't wear a suicide vest or wage jihad. How crazy is the Tea Party Congress? Allow me to illustrate. This was their inspiration, and this is their leader. And these are their followers, and this is their vision of your government. Scared yet? If I'm a hobbit, then you're a troll. Thank you, Tea Party, for helping Mitch McConnell stay true to his highest stated purpose, undermining the President of the United States. That's what true patriots do, along with wearing cool hats and comic book sideburns. Stop, President Obama. About the Tea Party, it's really simple. They're thugs. They held us hostage for this whole past month. They lie, they distort, they hate monger, and they fear monger. I just want someone to say to them, enough. All I have to say is, tea belongs here. Because of you, steep patriots, we can shrink government down to the size of your worldview. As a freshman, I may not be wise. Never doubt that a small group of reactionary, xenophobic, corporately manipulated citizens can change the world. The Tea Party. Tea bagging America. Because no one is stopping them. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Tea Party. That's pretty much it.